Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to install Minecraft on your Raspberry Pi. So um, just ensure that you have these two, these files downloaded here and uh, it, it comes downloaded in a zip file so you just have to extract it and copy the ing file from it and the name is Raspbian Pycroft. Uh, the version right now is 2018 March 14th. So just download these and um, I'll provide the link in the description. So now to get started just install Win32 Disk Manager on your PC. And uh, so I have it installed already so I'm going over to Win32 Disk Manager. I'm going to allow this. Okay so now click on this blue file manager icon over here and go to documents and raspberry p that's my folder and i'm going to select the image file so you can see here the image file so i'm going to select it and now when you select the image file click right and yes and the process will begin so just allow it about five minutes and then it will be done and then i will stop here and then i will come back after that five minutes so it's now on 98 percent 99 and then it will okay so now click ok close this and then you get this prompt here from windows asking you to format the disk do not format the disk okay so now we want to eject just uh, allow this message to remove okay so let's eject okay so i'm now going to remove the micro sd card and i'm now going to put it into my raspberry pi now you notice this big box over there that's my case that i made so i'm going to put the micro sd card to the bottom now before you power on just ensure that you have your ethernet cable connected your hdmi i have my hdmi connected already your usb microphone and um, your speaker but i don't have a speaker with me currently so i'm using my air piece so um, you won't hear any feedback from Minecraft but you will see the feedback on the screen so don't worry if you don't hear any audio from Minecraft in the video so I'm now going to insert the SD card and then I'll be back okay so now I have the power in there I am now going to allow it to boot up and now let's just head over to the home dot minecraft.ai page so while it's booting up over here i'm going on my computer and i'm heading over to home.minecraft.ai so when you go over there um, because it's booting up and you're going to get a prompt so just head over to home.minecraft.ai and uh, type um to sign up or if you have an account already then you can log in now you can see i already have an account so when you go over here to devices you see that i have a device already now i'm going to remove that because i don't have it anymore okay so when you sign up you log in you go over to devices and then add a device so just allow it to do its thing over here and then just listen carefully you will um, hate uh, asking you to pay so when you hear that it will now give you a code that you are to put on the website and then the website will send the verification to it so let's just allow it to do its thing So I'm still waiting and uh, it's just uh, getting connection to the internet so um, 
shouldn't take that long for you. My internet is quite slow, so I'm just allowing it its time. Okay, so I am now ready to put in the code. And uh, let me just go and put in the code. I'm now on that screen now, that's the screen you have to get to to get the code. So it is now giving me the code and uh, it will appear down here. So I'm just waiting for it to appear here. And um, it will repeat the code about twice, but um, it will still appear down there in case you didn't quite hear what it said. So I'm just waiting for the code to appear down there so I can see. So the code is down here. I'm going to type that in, and the code is K V M U. So I type that in. So let me switch to the desktop now. Fill in this. So you see your code here, and whatever name you want. And um, I put here assistance because it's my assistant. And then I'm going to click OK, let's test. And then uh, after this is done, I will get a message from here. So you should see this. And then after I will get a message from Microsoft telling me that it's fed. Okay. So it's now fed. We do not need the computer anymore because we have already fed everything and everything is fine so now let me ask it a question and then for me to leave hey micro tell me about Abraham Lincoln so I've asked it the question and it's now processing the request so you guys just have to give it some time depending on your internet speed uh, so it's just processing my request and then you see So you see it told me down here just a moment while I look up Abraham Lincoln So let me zoom on that so you can see So the voice recognition works So you can try it out for yourself. It also does calculations. So you can ask um, uh, 1 plus 1 and so on and so off so forth you can do division, multiplication, yeah. So it's still saying just a while back. So let me ask about the weather. Hey Microsoft, what's the weather like? Okay, so I got my response for the weather. So you can see down here. Answer. So you see over below on history, you will see all the answers. Now, like I said, display is optional. So if you have your earpiece plugged in, then you will hear it in your ear, or if you have a boombox. Okay, guys. So I will stop here. So also, it answered about Abraham Lincoln. Okay, so I will stop here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I apologize for the quality of the video i know that probably it wasn't fitting to some of you but you know i just want to help you guys out you know some of you have difficulties and i just want to narrow things down and um, just explain stuff so thank you very much for watching hit that thumbs up subscribe to my channel show your support and i will see you in another video